Hi, I'm Liam Don. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Class Dojo. Real time is really important to our business because everything that we do in the classroom involves a teacher working with a whole class of students and you know they might be using a device like uh, an Android phone, an iPhone, an iPad and they need to communicate with their smart board projector and it's totally critical that that works because you've got 30 kids watching them and if you know they're, they're standing at the front of the class hitting a button and something isn't popping up right away you've probably just lost the attention of all those kids. So it's really important that we have like a really reliable real-time communication between those two devices. I think the biggest business challenge that PubNub solved for us was whether to devote you know, lots of resources to building our own solution or to maintaining our own solution. When we have you know, a lot of users, we have, we have many, many you know, thousands, tens of thousands of concurrent online users. That's really hard to scale when you're trying to do real-time communication between two devices. To have all these people sort of doing that is, is very difficult. Uh, and we, we didn't know whether we should hire people to do that, you know, whether we'd have to increase the size of the team. And eventually we just sat down and thought, you know what, this isn't what the core of our business is about. Like we shouldn't be spending loads of money or spending loads of time trying to make real-time work when we just need it to just work and then focus on our actual business challenges. So basically, real time is a requirement for our business, but it's not a business challenge that we should be solving. There were several reasons why we chose to go with PubNub, and we did actually build our own solution for a while. Then the reason we went with PubNub in the end turned out to be because of the unique nature of schools and school networks. You see, schools have these very old-fashioned networks where sometimes they're using, firstly, they might be using Internet Explorer like six or something. They have proxy networks which block a lot of traffic. And if you're using really new web technologies like WebSockets, which for example, other real-time solutions do, and the one we built did, you find that suddenly 50% of your users can't use the real-time features. So PubNub supports long polling and in fact defaults to it. And that was really important so that we could get compatibility across all schools. We were with PubNub from the really early days. So I think when we started, they only had one product and we used that. And we kind of stuck on that for a very long time before they were like, hey, we have all these other services that you could use. And we were like, okay, let's use those too. So, you know, we're using some cool stuff like presence now so we can see how many people are, are online at once. We can we use multiplexing where they just need one connection to the server to be able to, you know, talk on multiple channels. We're only just beginning to expand what that can do for us. So, you know, we have this communication from phone to, to screen, which I, which I mentioned, but we're also looking at other features like notifications, like possibly chat between teachers within a school so they can share information about how a day is going and that kind of thing. So just bringing more real-time stuff to, to the application so that as we move towards teachers using it together in a school collaboratively, they can get up to the minute, you know, updates on how the day is going in other classes, not just their own. It was really, really easy to implement and um, that was another reason that we, we chose to go with it because even, as I said, we started in the really early days, but they already had a load of libraries written, things, you know, libraries for the web, for iOS, for Android, and we're on all these platforms, so, you know, we really just had to drop in that library and then add about two lines of code and, you know, you're just sending messages right away. So integration was really easy and we haven't had to worry about scaling, about spinning up servers, about like how many people are online right now. We just don't worry about that, and so it's it's just a few lines of code here. Documentation was another great reason. You know, all the libraries were really well documented. And then, as I said, we were pretty early on with PubNub, and we kind of got to got to speak to all the important members of the team. You know, we had a dedicated support person, and I've spoken with Stephen, uh, the CTO, around like integration and and what new features we could be using that we're not using. Some of the new stuff we're working on that I mentioned, some of those teacher collaboration features, are like came out of me talking to Stephen and then hearing that they had this feature and then I was like, ding, we could, we could totally use that. So that's been, that's been a lot of fun. It's been really great to work with. You always have this prioritization problem when, you, when you're working on a product like ours and you have a small team like ours. It's like, what do you build? Well, if you can just reduce the number of cycles it takes to build something, which is what, in this case, what PubNub has done, then it becomes a much easier decision to build those features.